viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm here again. <laughs> yes, she is. And like I said earlier, these guys are weak to magic based attacks, just in general. They're also weak to Shadow for some godforsaken reason, but yeah, Slash will one hit them. I think Flame Toss will too, but that's uh, not really important. It's too, like, medieval sounding. Well, okay. I was gonna say, well, this game does take place in medieval times, but I forgot. It doesn't. Go around back and press the switch. That's not a complete sentence. Go around the back, game. Gotta have the the there. Okay. Secret passage. Alright. Oh, these guys again? Switch it on, man. Oh. I can't reach it. I'm a frog that can't jump. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I got a kick out of that the first time. And it's boss time, I think. Well, we get a rage band, so we want to equip that. That's a good, uh, good accessory, because what it does is it makes you counterattack 50% of the time, so that's pretty good. It's like an extra normal attack. Counterattack? What is that? That is Sir Crawley. Now, Sir Crawley only has about, what does he have there? It's even listed on my thing? Yeah, there he is. 15, or 500 HP. And he's weak to Shadow, which is kind of ridiculous, because you don't have Shadow. Why would they make him weak to him? I don't know. This whole area in general doesn't make sense, because you're meant to come here way later. Well, maybe that's the point. <laughs> yeah, but this guy is so easy that you can take him now with ease. Why are you scratching my back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I'll shred ya! Now, yeah, he'll do that, and the, you want to keep Marley on standby at all times for that, because what that'll do is that'll reduce your HP to 1. That's not good. Okay, uh, I think Fire Whirl is a pretty good against this guy. That's yeah, good. that's good. So I would just use Fire Whirl. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't... Oh, man, now I'm going to have to heal. Use a mid-tonic, I guess. Yeah, as long as your HP keeps stays above uh, 50, you're okay. Yeah, stick with Fire Whirl. But it'll pretty much only do about... Yeah, see, there's a counter. That's nice. That's really good. But it'll only do about 40 damage. It's just the move that reduces your HP to 1. Kind of annoying. He's gonna shred me again. He's also dead this round, but whatever. Yeah, there he goes. And like all good bosses, he melts. He looks like he's on fire. Yeah, he's just melting. Yeah, all good bosses have to melt or explode. Right, viewers? Is yeah. that right, honey? Sure. You know that. I guess it's the case. Quiet! Ignore that. I can't I can't get my stopwatch to stop having its alarm go off! Alright. Okay, uh, Flame Toss will not one-hit the Edgar enemies there. Why? I don't know. Comes close, but it doesn't quite do it. And we get a Bolt Sword. It's Lightning Elemental, right? No, no, actually it's not. No, it's not Elemental. It's just regular old upgraded sword. Now, again, if you came here way later, you'd already have swords that are twice as good as that. So, uh, what's the point? Whatever. Let's go up here. Oh, and you'll never see those frogs again. Alright, let's go to Death Mountain, or Death Peak, whatever. Death Mountain, that's Zelda. Uh -huh, now, we're not going to be able to get very far, but we should be able to... Yes, we got it! Alright, you get a power tab there. You won't be going there for a long time. It's the Keeper's Dome. Nice tune. What's this? This is creepy. Oh, come on. Don't break on me. What does this do? It's called...
causes Chrono to shake his head. Doesn't he always shake his head? Yeah, when he ever runs into something. What the hell is this? It's like a... It's an old man! Scala! Who the hell is Scala? It looks like a plum on leg. You must not climb Death Peak. The right time. Who are they? Ocean Palace, Blackbird. It reminds me of Lost in the Orchid. I am pleased you think me worthy. Who the hell is this guy? Well, obviously I know who he is, but I'm just pretending that I don't. I don't know who he is. That's because you're dumb. Hey. He is clearly your father-in-law. I don't have a father-in-law yet. I know. I'm just kidding. Okay, well, we have to make our way back through the sewers. I would edit it out, but I do want to show you that that switch we hit earlier did, in fact, open up a shortcut. Oh, I don't want to fight those guys again. See? There we go. That bridge that was out earlier, it's back, so really no reason to edit it out. Okay, well, I'm going to take a little pause break here, so I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now, and uh, now we want to go to Lab 32. It looks like a lab to me. It's a lab. It just looks like a junkyard. It's, yeah, it's ruins of an old city, I had to guess. Okay, well. What's up with, like, the... Do, 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 do. I don't know. What is that? It's a jet bike. Now, if you came here earlier, before getting the jet bike key, these guys would just come endlessly, and you wouldn't be able to do anything. They're doing, like, they're, like, getting down. <laughs> Pretty much. It's... It's the man. Is this Arcana? Oh man. Oh, it's Johnny. Is this Metal Gear Solid? Johnny, my boy. No, I'd love to just not ride, but you have to. Okay, basically what happens here is you do a mini game and your speed is automatic. This is a really poorly designed mini game. Yeah. Now, there's some really weird number for a perfect score. I think it's 371. And you get like a magic tab for that. I think you get a magic tab for that. I'm not going to do that. If you hit the B button, you do a speed boost. You're better off just saving that for the very end. I'll probably lose. I don't really care. Oh, I did it too early. Oh, oh well. You lose. You're a loser. You don't get anything for beating him like that, though. Anyway. You're worthless. Ha ha. Whatever. I wanted to lose anyway, because I want to walk. What the hell? Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what? I'll show this battle, because three mutants can get pretty bad. What you want to do is you want to fire whirl all of them. And I'm going to have to use an ether again. Once you can get a couple fire rolls on them, you'll have them. Yeah, there we go. They're mutants, honey. X-Men all over again. Oh no! He's licking Luca! And now they're licking Luca again. They're licking each other? It looks like they're sucking the life out of each other. He's headbutting Chrono. Alright, yeah, just fire whirl them. And they're done. There you go. Bye bye. Yeah, halfway through this place, you can get an item called the Race Log, which will let you change the mode of racing. And then you can get, you, you, you can keep your scores in check there. Keep a record of it. It's really a waste of time, though. I hate that mini game. If you want to see someone getting a perfect score on it, then where'd they come from? It's like Star Wars. You can watch H.C. Bailey's Let's Play Chrono Trigger. He gets a perfect score on it. You have to prevent Johnny from getting in front of you at all, which is damn near impossible. And he does it effortlessly. Effortlessly. There he is. Okay. Uh, And, mysteriously, he'll be right there. But yeah, I'll just show that you can, in fact, 
You talk to him with the race log, he'll bring in this guy. AXR, what? I forget his name. And if you do it without mode 2, what you more importantly, you won't have boost, but you'll be able to change the camera perspective, which is critical to not letting Johnny be able to get up to you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you won't be able to pass him, pass you as easily. It's really tricky, and I don't have the patience for it. Oh, well. Well, here we are. We're at the Proto-Dome. And I think this is a good place to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.